We are live. Welcome to San Miguel TV. This is San Miguel. I am here with Marksman, formerly of Rebel Alliance Media. Marksman, introduce yourself. How you doing, my brother? I'm good, man. You know what I'm saying? Ain't, ain't formerly Rebel Alliance Media. I'm, I'm like <laughs> Ram, Ram all day, man. You know what I'm saying? Ram all day. There you go. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> get it, get it right from the from the jump. But um, yeah, man, we've been we've been wanting to do this for a minute, bro. And um, you know, uh, I'm glad I got you on here. It's uh, Sunday, March 21st, 2021. <laughs> you know, it's been a it's been a minute, bro. Uh, we've been in contact for years now, me and you. Um, and uh, we finally here, man. I'm glad that that you're here. So welcome, you know. Um, and uh, you know, we're gonna get started, man. We're gonna go into a lot of different things tonight. Of course, we got to get started with your history. I'm sure people know who you are, but you know, just for the people, just just to re reiterate, um, how how do we know you from? I mean, I could I could go I could go back into the history because some of our history overlap in uh, ICGJC. So um, definitely, you know, uh, what year did you come into the ICGJC? Was it called the ICGJC at the time? You know, kind of get into that. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I came in like I came in '99. I, I I heard about it in '98. Um, I believe '98 came in '99. You know what I'm right. saying? Um, my first class. I remember my my, my first class. Um, Malakda. If any brothers remember Malakda? He was up there. I don't know if he just came from somewhere and he was. If anybody remember that class, he was hyped about something and he he disturbed the class and was talking about some shit. Malakta was it was act you know if you, if you was there, you know Malakta. That's from way back in the day. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. I, I mean I'm, back that was uh one west, right? One west hundred twenty. Nah, that, that was nah that was on nineteen forty one. That was before the fire. Oh, okay. So when did they first get into 1941 Madison Avenue? When was that? When I when I got when I got there, there was a black sign on the front, and Al Sharpton was there. Um, right. They they were there years before I heard about them. Um, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm pretty sure everybody knows RVR from the Commandment Keepers and uh, what's his name? Um, what's that guy's name, man? Um. Um, Elijah, what's his name? Elijah or uh, Abba Bivens? You know what I'm saying in Harlem with the whole, yeah, with the whole Hebrew movement. So, uh, um, yeah, you know, right, right. So, so, but, um, but before that, when you came in, it was it was it called the ICGJC? What was it called? Nah, nah, nah. It was called the uh, it was called the ISUPK. It was called the IS. IS it was called. A, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It was called the ISUPK. Then it was called the ICUPK. Right. I'm trying. That's not. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. It had to be around that same time in '97, '98. I was. I was there. I was. Yeah, I was there. I was there when they were calling it church, and I was also there when they were calling it school. Right. So I was there for the both. Um, UPKs, and then after that, um. Tazadaki changed it to uh, ICGJC. You know what I'm saying? So. Right. Yeah, because yes. by, by the time I came in in 04, you was already in there. So we had some time that did overlap. Um, I remember my my first class, um, I went to, to uh, One West. So, But this was 04. Um, but I know at that time, like it was already the fire had already happened. I think I think it had just happened because the the fire in 1941 Madison Avenue actually happened in uh, it was like '03, and that was when Al Sharpton was there, right? Yeah, because yeah. uh, that was that, it was a little like weird, like how that happened because it was the day that Al Sharpton announced his presidency. Um, you know, the day that he announced his presidency, Al Sharpton, <laughs> they were what 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 happens when you when you uh, run for president, they're gonna check all your tax papers. So it was right, kind right, of right. it was kind of funny how the day that he's running for president, you know, he pretty much, you know, um 
<laughs> or he, that fire, that suspicious fire happened where now they can't check his tax papers because all he got to say is, well, that, that, that burnt down in a fire, you know? So, but, um, but that was, that was an 03. So I've seen photos of what you're talking about with the black sign where it says, I see you PK. And then right, right, yeah. that was the second floor. And then the third floor was out sharpening, right? No, nah, the second floor was out sharp, and the third, the third floor was the school. Oh, okay, got you, got you. We we we, we had we had to walk past out Sharpton spot, and then when you walked up the steps, you seen that twelve, you seen that twelve tribe sign that um got RBI. I'm gonna say Nawak on there, all kind of brothers could come. You had um Yeshaya, you had a lot of brothers on that uh um, I guess um Lord um twelve apostles. Right. I mean, when I came in, one of the videos, like one of those first videos had um, Yeshaya on there. Um, Nawak was an apostle. Uh, it had, um, what was that one dude that was like in Cleveland, Ohio or something? Um, and then he bounced later on. Uh, Ibanazar, I believe, was still in there. Yeah, Ibanazar, yeah, yeah. Remember that? Because yeah, it was a lot of changes. Like when I first came in, and I think I remember you were on NIS when I first, like when I had, because I had travel papers, you know, when I came for the Passover, I took like a whole week off and I stayed with my brother and we was in New York. So I had travel papers. I was coming to class like on Thursday night, but I was there for the Passover, you know, but I, I, I stayed extra. So I was like kind of getting familiar with the brothers in New York. You know, with some of the regular brothers in New York, um, my early years, that pop, that was probably 05, Passover 05, you know, because um, I remember my it was on 34th Street. Um, what was it? Yeah, 34th. You saying you seen me on NIS? I remember seeing you on NIS. Yeah, I, we, we've crossed paths before because you, you left in about 06, 07. I came in in 04. So, it was about two or three years where we crossed paths, yeah, definitely. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, I remember the DVD where, um, what's this cat? Uh, KOC was the um, valedictorian, and he was doing the, you know, the stupid, you know, whatever, about face. And he looked like something was wrong with him. You could tell. And it looked like um, Shamshawan was mad, you know. At, at You could tell, like, it was like something like, yo, like, this cat, he looked like he got a problem. <laughs> he didn't want to be there. So shout, yo, shout out, shout, shout, shout out, shout um, out, the king of the, the original con, the original king of controversy before he met Tommy Sotomayor in Atlanta and told him that king of controversy thing. Shout out to the original, um, king controversy, Andre Crystal's Helios, KOC. You know what I'm saying? Shout out. You know what I'm saying? He, he already know. You know what I'm saying? Shout so shout out to that brother. Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm just thinking back because I remember being in the in the cult already watching that DVD. I forget which DVD they threw that on, but it was like, you know, the Hebrew Academy ceremony that they used to do at the Passover where they give the valedictorian some type of award. And Andre was the valedictorian, you know, because he, he was he was yeah, on point. That. He was on point. Yeah, I remember that scriptures yeah. like. You know, and that's one thing that he was always saying when he came out. He was like, y'all brothers know that I know these scriptures. He's like, that's why I was valedictorian. But, you know, he didn't want to be a part of the bullshit. I always remember him being kind of a jokester. So I was around. I was around. I would be online waiting. I remember seeing y'all, you know, here and there. You would be on NIS constantly. I would always see you with the all black. Always. You know, uh, but I would see Andre, like, it wasn't it wasn't many times, but I definitely saw him, you know, with his garment on or whatever, with the officer five thousand garment. Um yeah. and by the time I came in and got my cause I think I we graduated that same year. Um and that Passover, something like that. Maybe I graduated the year after, you know, but um but yeah, we definitely crossed paths, you know, that they, they were still rebuilding nineteen forty one. So I didn't see that until like oh six, maybe, I don't know. Um, but when I came to visit and I remember coming for the Passover, I came to like a Thursday night class and, um, you know, I seen, I remember seeing Dirac, he was right there. 
you know, he was mad happy to see me. Uh, he gave me a hug. You know, I, I didn't even know who he was, but he was mad happy to see me. I told him I'm from Orlando and he was happy as hell. He was like, what? He gave me a, he was, you know, he's like a eccentric dude. He's like, he'll show you, he'll show you love. Um, and then, yeah, I remember that. I remember that. We, we was at the top of the stairs in, in uh, One West. And um, I remember even coming in for Sabbath early that morning, and he was the one that put the oil on my head. Um, I remember, what's this cat? Um, from the Be Thou Free Israel, uh, Ma Wallamad was up there uh, like on a Thursday. I think he was actually up there at my first class in One West. And he was up there with uh, one of those, one of the apostles. Man, who's the one apostle? Um, I forget, man. One of those old school apostles that's not an apostle anymore. I don't even remember his name. Um, damn. But yeah, that must have been the first class. And they was just up there, you know, and uh, he pointed me out. They were like, you see, they was they literally pointed me out in class. They were like, whoever the teacher was, man, I forget this apostle. If you could name some of these apostles, it wasn't Barack. Uh, not Barack, man. I forget, man. It's been a while. But um, yeah, yeah I, mean, I, I never heard. I, I never heard of Apostle Barack. No, no, it's but, not Barack. Um, it's not Barack. I'm yo, I, never, to... I, I never thought, but um, yeah, what were you saying? No, it's not it's not Barack. I'm trying to think of the name, but it's it's not Barack. It's um man, he was up there on the Jerry Springer show too with, with Shabar and Tazadakia. And um, Kakum? Yeah, there you go. Kakum. That's what I'm thinking about. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, he was up there in my first class with uh Mawa Lamad. I remember he was pointing me out. He was like, You see, Israel comes in a you know, we are a uh, speckled bird. And he was like... Hey, 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 hold on, 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 hold on. I was yeah. there, bro. I remember that... Yo, bro, I re listen, bro, I, I, I have photographic memory. I remember Kakum's classes. Yeah. And yeah. that's he how... Would, I, I, feel like, have, I feel like I was there, bro. He would always have Marwa Lamad with him. He always liked calling on Marwa Lamad for everything. And I remember... Hey, shout uh, out. Hey, hey, can I say something? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hey, stop. hey, you see, you see, pe people don't really know, you know what I'm saying, the, the backgrounds are all kind of shit. Shout yeah. out. Shout out Mawa Lamad, bro. Shout yeah. out Mawa Lamad. People don't know that when I was in the school and I ain't have nothing, you know what I'm saying, and he was, I think it was my platoon commander or some shit, Mawa Lamad held the nigga down, you know what I'm saying? When I ain't had nothing, he's, he, meet, he meet me on 213th White Plains late night. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? When I ain't had nothing, I was like probably like 20 years old. I ain't have, you know what I'm saying? Help, you know what I'm saying? Help nigga out. So, right, so right. Shout, shout out, shout, shout out Mawa Lamad. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, shout out those brothers, man, on the Be Thou Free Israel. And, and shout out, shout out, shout out, shout out Kazaka Matunya, man. Kazaka Matunya. Yo, because see, I'm on the show. Listen, Kazaka Matunya yeah. already know back right. in the day, me and him, me, me and Kazaka Matunya was like this. Nice. He know he he <laughs> knows that, so I already know I'm a demon and all that, and I'm trifling or whatever. But he knows <laughs> when we was in the school, especially when Ty's doctor was calling me to go on the world tour and all that, all kind of shit was going on. Yeah, even before that, because well, I remember Tyler. I, I, I remember, times. I remember when when y'all first started, like when you first started the Rebel Alliance channel, they were coming at you hard. It was it was the, it was the Antichrist unit was. Developed by Kazaki Matanya, and he was given authority by Tazadakia to choose whoever you know to go up against Yah. That he told me that he told me that that he was the one that was given all of that. He chose Saint Basil, you know, all of that, you know. Um, but yeah, that that I remember those days. Like I remember, I remember being in in a, in a car, like on my lunch breaks with brothers, or after you know, Academy or whatever, and we would be watching your videos. We would be watching Rebel Alliance and the Antichrist unit and all the rebuttals. And then this went on for months, but then eventually they were like, they put the order out that we can't be watching your videos. Like, I remember all of that. Like, I, I, you know, my memory is still pretty sharp. It's just sometimes with the names and the Hebrew and all that, you know, some of these apostles that get taken down, it's like, you know, like I said, I was in there from 04 to like almost 2011. You know, it was like almost seven years. But, uh, but yeah, so you came in there in 98. What year was it that you left and you started the channel? You know, that was what, 06, 07, I believe. Maybe, I don't know. Um, 
what, what it was. Um, brothers, remember me from my I don't give a damn show back in two thousand because I left around. Yeah, yeah I don't give a damn. Two thousand five. Two thousand five. Then after that, um, KOC. He was already doing um controversial controversial headlines in Iona College, and I remember mm -hmm. um back in the day they, they had KOC and Amadiem Shabbat in a circle because they were cutting him because he he ended up um a re as like a reoccurring host on the Star and Buckwild show, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Star and Buckwild would be like, "Yo, call call that brother KOC up," and he was getting big and the brother and, and you know and when I seen that that was my first that was one of my first like. When, when you step outside of something and you see and you start to look at, you don't look at it as Israel and, and the body of Christ no more. You look at it as hating ass niggas. And you right. start to look at it just regular, like regular shit, like it's just hating ass nigga type shit. And then you snap back and then you, then you start thinking, oh yeah, the laws of scriptures or whatever. But I remember that, you know what I'm saying? And um, KOC is already doing controversial headlines. Then late, um, you know, me and KOC was man's way before that you know what i'm saying so 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 we linked up um i was doing marksman tv around, around that time controversial headlines he was doing that we linked up koc came up with rebel alliance you know what i'm saying because his his analogy was that um that um we was re rebelling against the um empire evil empire you know what i'm saying like on like star wars and i, I never i never um i never watched star wars you know what I'm saying? I like I like I like um what's that nonfiction? What do you call it fiction, nonfiction, you know, like like space shit. But like yeah. yeah, but um but, but KOC, he really into that, you know what I'm saying? So he was right. like, yo, Rebel Alliance, and um, you know, I was making the videos, whatever. If you see a lot of the videos we got, you know what I'm saying, I'm in the back recording, you know, so that was the media aspect. Right. So that's where you have Rebel Alliance Media, you know what I'm saying, I added the media to it, and then that's where Rand came from. And then, um, you know, being that we left the school and, you know, they tell us not to read no books, you know what I'm saying? That was what we was doing. We was reading scriptures. So when when the Antichrist unit was coming at, you know, me and KOC, I didn't really take it personal because I knew them brothers and I understood that they were under orders. And I understood that, um, you know, you couldn't really think for yourself inside there. So even if you wanted to debate, like we debated brothers that that, that was from the school, and then they got kicked out of the school because they debated us. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because because they, because they, because they couldn't prove. And it's like, and, and you know, and to, to, if they was really thinking, they would have been like, well, they're really, they're really, we're really, um, you know, going by the guidelines of the school, prove all things. You know what I'm saying? Like if you, if you, if yeah. you take in consideration that we came into school, well, I came into school around the time when Yashaya used to, used to um hold the Friday night, class when he used to play on uh, his guitar with his nails he had a book out called the um <laughs> an encyclopedia some shit history whatever or black people something like that and he had like that's, and around that time we, we, that, that's your yeah, shy we, we, one, of the, one of the former apostles you said he used to play guitar with his nails he used to have long nails with the perm hair right i, I think i remember that yeah. i remember I, well and i remember and he always yeah he always used to um we used to read books, you know what I'm saying, and go into other things. There was a whole library on the side of the right. um of the oh, what's right. name where you could read books that was that was that used to help. But then, you know, like when you started to go into the Josephus, you start to realize that the Josephus is not a credible credible book. Why? Because it proves that Jesus is not a special name. Jesus, anybody right. had Jesus on um, Barabbas, and that that's actually a hidden meaning. Barabbas, his name was Jesus. You know what I'm saying? When they say give us Barabbas, his name was Jesus Barabbas. So, right. so it was a whole bunch of stuff. So, so when KOC, KOC, um, you know what I'm saying? We we was on the scriptures, going to history, you know what I'm saying? On, on and then you know, we started to really go into like because at the end of the day, I realized that a lot of people that joined the school, you see, that shit is based on the fact that black people are fucked up. White man does have some black people are fucked up. But everybody didn't join the school for the same reasons. Some yeah. people joined the school for the knowledge and for the fact that there is an evil empire, black, white people, whatever. Or the Bible says this. Some people's there to say, Yabashim Shabbat Shalom. 
Some brothers is there to get ranked. Some brothers is there to be because you have more than one wife. And I'm not right. saying nothing's wrong with none of that. But when you take that in consideration, you start to see why shit don't move or shit don't improve or shit don't go no way because there's no set direction with all those people. You sh there should right. be a set goal, and and you can, and the whole goal was really to make people's um, pockets fatter because pretty much, you know, yeah, you pretty know much. What I'm saying is, well, white man, the white man does it. White, white, white man um drips people and. Dupes people. Why? Why can't a black person do it? That, that's where I'm at right now. Keep it real with you. Right. Right. Same I mean, so. I look at it now a lot differently. You know, like so. I mean, we could we could go back to when you first started rebelling and all of that. Yeah. And you, I mean, we got a way better understanding now, of course, of what what was going down. Um, I mean, I still have some questions for sure um, about what was going on in the in the inner workings and who's still trying to manipulate things behind the scene because it, this whole cult mentality and this indoctrination stuff and uh, having a, a one person above, you know, one Holy Spirit that's connected to God or whatever, that didn't start with Tazadakia. That was already an element of the ISUPK and you were there during that time. So it's, let it's let good me, to talk to you let about me, Let me get you something. Let, let me... Let me let me hit you something. My bad, Sam and Gil. Shout out Sam and Gil TV, man. You know what I'm saying? You're doing it. You know what I'm saying? Stand alone by himself. But um, if you, you know what I'm saying? People, yo, shout out High Priest Ari. This dude got people calling themselves all kind of tribes years later after wow. he was in his house, sick, and he ain't leave his house. He's in his house reading the Bible, and he put the whole. 12 tribe shit together and years later people saying I'm from the tribe of Levi, I'm from the tribe of Simeon. You know That's what I'm saying? Amazing. And to think about that Tazadaki outlived two people that he put in the forefront to say that one's King David, one's the Holy Spirit. He outlived all of them. No, no, you, you mean so you, start to see. you mean Aria outlived. Yeah, yeah, Aria, Aria, you my bad. That's why you're my bad, my bad if I yeah, said no, my you bad. got it. You got I it. I didn't I didn't hear my talk. No, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm high, bro. You know what I'm saying? I hear you. I hear all, all, you uh, um, all of y'all outlive Tazadaki and Masha. You know what I'm saying? He's still alive, right? So, you know what so I'm Masha, and, and those are two people. Masha, who's Masha? Just so people know, who's this Masha guy? <laughs> I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put it to you this way Masha is another black man that. Hmm. You know, had no other choice but to believe something, and he came into the Hebrew Israelite thing back in the day. And after he he rose up and became who you know because of the compelling evidence of what they believe the scriptures was, and right. he rose up and he became Masha. You know what I'm saying? And Arya made him King David because according to them, he was fulfilling things that the Bible was saying concerning bringing out certain scriptures and bringing out certain information. That's the same thing that Ari Ariya gave Kazadaki, the Holy Comforter. He was bringing out certain information. So the concept of a of a person coming to bring information, that's like in Theosophy with Helen of Blavatsky. They were doing the same thing. A uh, 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 top ancient teacher, you know, coming to give us all the information that we need to know in order to, you know, do whatever. You know what I'm saying? So Ariya. You know what I'm saying he and, and uh, that that's crazy. I used to work for Ari. I used to work. For, I used to work for him. I, I remember he gave me um one of his pouches that he used to hold his Bible in, and I I used to rock that shit. And everybody was like, "Yo, that's Ari shit." Nice. You know what I'm saying? Like, nice. Yeah, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, at the end of the day, it was, it's no shot against them brothers. Black people was fucked up, you know. And then you have that book, the Bible. There, you got brothers that standing up, reading it, doing their best to interpret it. They come up with the Hebrew Israelite concept, you know what I'm saying? And you know, it's like, what, what else can you do? You know what I'm saying? The the problem the problem is the time now. You know, whoever's running the school now, we're living in a time right now where even that individual has to live for themselves, and that's all it is about. You could say it's about Hebrew Israelitism. You could say it's about this. Say it's about that, but it's about you. It's about it's about you. You know what I'm saying? And so, why are you gonna let Two people, two vagabonds, two bastards tell you to stop believing in what you want to believe in. You, you right. You better set up the Antichrist unit. You better set up these things and all that against these two two niggas, this light skinned nigga and this black nigga over here 
Why, why, well, who, who, who they, who they is? Hey, Kasaka Madunia, you, you remember that nigga over there? Yo, yo, you know all kind of shit about him. Hey, I don't blame him, yo. That money you gotta come in, you know what I'm saying? Five point something million dollars. I would even know the school even put, put, could even come up with that. You know what I'm saying? Right, yeah, yeah, damn. I mean, for them to have 1941 Madison Avenue and one West 125th Street, that's to be a lot of money coming in. You know, um, and that and that just shows you that just shows you the power of the black dollar because mm. niggas ain't broke out here, man. Niggas ain't broke out here, and to have brothers still fucked up when I was in school. R.I.P. Shabar, man. I remember seeing Shabar, and I was young, so I don't care. When I was in the Peter Peter J. Sharp shelter, and I used to, I used to see brothers Shar Gumbo and Ryan. I bumped into KOC there one time. I um, um Shabar and Shabar could even go to the third floor. They would even put him in on the third floor. And then I used to, I then I bumped the Shabon on the train in the A train, I think on Ralph Avenue. And he had all this shit with him. Wow. And I was just like, what the fuck? Man? You know what I'm saying? So then when you hear the brother commit suicide and shit, you know what I'm saying? You start to realize that I can't expect none of them brothers to say, to say, that's the reason why KOC and Marksman is doing it. I don't, I can't expect them to say that. I expect them to say, Yo, fuck Shabar. It's about what I, you know what I'm saying? Because I understand the society we live in. You know what I'm saying? If the white man does it, I would. Why would I expect the Af, um, the black man or the Hispanic man not to do it too? You know what I'm saying? So R, on R.I.P. Shabar and all them brothers that damn commit suicide because brothers don't want to think for themselves and read for themselves because you 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 envelop in a culture of you know of of you know you know what I'm saying? The last, the last live that I did, I brought up Shabar. He came up a few times, actually. Um, but uh, because of the video that I used, the BBC video, I guess they held my live. So I had to literally, like, edit, you know, edit what I had. I actually, It actually ended up coming out better, you know, because I had a chance to edit it and throw in the images. And, you know, they, 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 didn't, they didn't add a strike when I finally put it out. But I started thinking about that brother, and I was like, man, I forgot to mention that I did see him once. Um, what, you know, as we were, as I was talking about earlier, when I came to New York, my first Passover, I was there for like a whole week. Um, the rest of the people in Orlando, the rest of the congregation came up together. You know, they came up in like vans or whatever, and some of them would fly up together. You know, but I came, I came in like a week earlier, and I did remember seeing Shabar. Uh, but it must have been at yeah, it was actually at the Passover. We was waiting online and I, he stood out because he's so tall, you know, and he had he yeah. had like he had a bunch of sons. He had like six sons, bro. And they were yeah, all yeah. just like, all <laughs> lanky. And he, he must have had like they were all like like all 16, you know, 14, 12. You know, it was like back to back, and they were all tall, just like him, and they were all in order. And and just like I remember, I remember um, crazy. I remember, yeah, I, I remember, I remember Raj one bun. If a brother, if you were from the school, you know mm -hmm. Shabar had a son named Raj one bun. You know what I'm saying? I remember okay. that brother, man. He probably, he probably, he probably grown as fuck now. I remember when he was a teenager, thirteen, probably fourteen. Yeah, yeah. R.I.P. Shabar, man. Yeah, I, I, I even heard like I spoke to you the other day, and we spoke yeah. about the other brother that committed suicide. You know what I'm yeah. saying, and and that shit is that shit is, you know what I'm saying. That shit is that that shit is crazy. Yeah, I, I had said that he came in when he was 21 on the live. So now that I have the chance to correct that, he he didn't come in when when he was 21. I, I think I said that he came in with 20 when he was 21, and he and, and he committed suicide at 31. But he actually came in when he was like 15 into a cult. Um, so me and that guy. And him, that's what I heard. It. Yeah, but me and him crossed paths too. That's what, that's what I you know, I definitely remember seeing him because I got an image of him now. He was they actually got a good shot of him, man, on the Washington Post or whoever did whoever did that, that article when the when the ICDJC went to Capitol Hill and did that march. You know, it was around that time. Uh, they took a bunch of photos, and there's a photo of the of the of the dude. Actually pointing. Remember, I showed you, uh, but you didn't recognize yeah, yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. I, I recognize that brother. Yeah, I know the brother. 
and a lot of people recognize him. Yeah, he was pointing right. Yo, I couldn't believe they got such a great shot of him. And I was like, wow, man, what are the chances? And um, uh, uh, somebody identified I'm somebody that. I'm gonna say this. 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 You know what I'm saying? Because I don't care about none of that Hebrew Israelite shit, and I know that um, I know how shit work. I know that I know that I know that I know that they pushed that brother to do that shit. All the scriptures, all that, whatever it was, what he was doing, what happened, whatever happened, they they right. you know what I'm saying. I'm a, I'm gonna say that. I'm gonna say that. You know why? Because his his folks or whoever was mourning, because them brothers don't care about brothers, bro. If you're not paying no tithes, if you're not letting no brother tell you nothing that a brother that he if he was in the street, he wouldn't say that to you. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? If, like, if, if you want to let a brother with his rank tell you something, yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So it's like, so it's, 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 all, it's, all, it's all kind of shit going on, man. So the brothers, you got to remember, man, you're dealing with African-Americans, West Indians, all kind of people that that are, that they have no other way to take out their frustration but on the lower ranks. They have no other way because there is no, there is going to be, I remember them days we used to be on the street, street talking about we gonna have Esau and chains and shit. When, when, when's the last time it been like that? You know what I'm saying? Cause so you gotta take all your frustration on, on on the on the lower ranks. You know what I'm saying? So whatever, and, and plus you, you gotta keep on, you gotta keep up the facade because Tazadaki passed away. So really, it's all about I, I I commend I commend brothers for being strong. I had to realize that, you know, you can't be strong in bullshit. You know what I'm saying? A person cannot be strong in bullshit. So, so that means that if you know that that's bullshit, there's something else you strong in, the concept of the rank, the concept of or the idea that this person believes that he's an Israelite, but you know that he's just some regular schmegler nigga that's broke. You know what I'm saying? I never put it past these brothers that they think all kind of shit about people, man. People that, people that, really genuinely believe that this person that would that enslaved them oh shit he's black jesus is black the whole time oh you believe jesus christ is black why oh, are you dumbass nigga that's 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 the message i want to send you know what i'm saying at the end of the fucking day it's not even about you know telling somebody you know what's right from wrong it's about that brother that's going to end up killing himself it's about that sister that's going to end up killing himself it's about yeah. it's about that I wish I wish I would have. Um, I don't know. I mean, what what you know? What could you do in a situation like that? But I I wish I had more information on what was on his phone because it seems like when the article was written, uh, they tried to give it some time after the funeral to uh, get more information from the from the father about what was on the phone because I guess he got it later on, um, but the father never responded. So they just put out the article, the way that they did, which, which was a pretty good article. Like I really enjoyed reading that on my live. And then when I watched the, the video later, I caught certain things that I was like, yo, I didn't even catch that. But uh, one of them that I think now, he said that he's sinned in the flesh. Um, and, and that's what he was telling his family members. And I had one of his family members come on my live and say that that's what he was doing. He was calling his family saying, you know, I did something wrong. I sinned in the flesh, and that's how it, how it was written. But um, like, what were some of the things that they would tell us in the cult that if we leave, we would we would get killed, right? If we decide to leave, we could we could possibly die. Um, if you blaspheme against the Holy Spirit, that's the unforgivable unforgivable sin. So um, I mean, I don't know so for somebody to get to that mind state where they feel that they have to kill themselves and according to the evidence and the father watched the video he went up there on his own accord he was by himself he sat on the ledge for a little while before he jumped off and um you know but everything that's the proof hey, yo, you know everything hey, yo, you, hey, yo, you remember you remember, hey, yo, you remember my, my bad yeah my bad bro you remember i told you that um when you told me that the brother jumped off, you know what I'm saying, RP the brother, when he jumped off the what's the name, the, the roof and stuff. Remember, I told you I was in Coney Island and that dude jumped off that ledge and he was like, finally, and he jumped, he jumped through the through the concrete. He wow. his, his leg went through the concrete and his, and his and part of his leg went, went up 
and we was all looking at him. I remember his mother came around, and we was, she was like, Ugh. it's like brothers don't care about that. They don't care about that. It's, they don't care about that. They don't, they don't give a fuck about that. It's crazy, man. Now I think about that. It's like, damn, you actually seen somebody. You actually seen somebody uh, that jumped off a building. Is what you're saying? I think you told I mean, me that. Yeah, yeah I was. In, I was in, uh, yeah, 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 I was in I was in Coney Island, you know what I'm saying, one day, Brooklyn yeah. doing whatever. And you know what I'm saying? I remember I remember walking, you know what I'm saying, with whoever, you know what I'm saying? We seen the dude in the store. Next minute, we, we in this part, somewhere around Surf Ed, or some, some the, the the projects. And the dude right. finally, finally, I don't know Man. what this nigga. Finally, boom, uh -huh. boom. You know what I'm saying? Damn. And then the freaking shit went in. What's the name? And it was just like, God damn. And then the feast's mother came and the shit. So, like I said, I brought that up to, 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 to say for the other brother is like, for you to do that and the sin against the flesh, you know, we were talking about what that could have what that could have been. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And you know what I'm saying? Some brothers gotta realize, man, you gotta get out of New York, man. You gotta get away from people, man. You know what I'm saying? Cause at the end of the day, you gotta live your life, man. You know what I'm saying? Brothers, yeah. African Americans, West Indians, and all that in America, the only thing you can do is some way, you know, what I'm saying adopt or adapt that that cracker mentality to do some fuck shit, and you know, and, you know, uh, what's, what's going on? What's going on? And you know, so funny is like, you know, I'm not, I ain't gonna say that. I ain't gonna say. That. All, all, all I'm gonna say is that certain brothers where they got different treatment. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, certain brothers where they got different treatment. If you have a history of homosexuality, you know what I'm saying? You, was I supposed to say that? <laughs> we don't know if that's, we don't well, know if that's what it was. Remember, we were talking about That's what we were talking about because um, another part of that article, you know, that I noticed later on, um, you know, and this is speculation. We don't know. Maybe the father, maybe the parents do know something now. So, but I definitely, I definitely saw that. In the article, the father asked if he has a boyfriend. He asked him if he has a girlfriend, and then he asked him, do you have a boyfriend? So I didn't catch that until later, and I was like, that's kind of strange that a father would ask his son that if he didn't suspect that, you know? So, um, yeah, I mean, and there's a high suicide rate, you know, in the gay and lesbian, you know, they all, there's a high suicide rate in that community, the LGBTQ+, plus and, you know, all of that. There's just a high suicide rate. And um, even if he would have left that cult, that's what I was saying. Even in the Seven Day Adventist cult, um, you know, which is a cult, it's a, it's a religion, but it's, it started off as a cult. And it's all one and the same anyways. Um, you know, they pretty much got to go by the scriptures. So that brother probably thought he's, you know, he probably felt like he couldn't change because, um, I mean, you when when you're like that if you're a homosexual that's something that um i mean you could be turned out but that's a very small percent of the people of the homosexual population um yeah. but the majority of them are born that way that's what people don't understand and i know that this wasn't really understood back back in the days i mean we talking about way back in a time where where i mean people thought that there was a God or a spirit for every little thing, you know, for the wind. And, you know, they thought that different uh, medical conditions were demons. You know, these people were not really aware of, of any, uh, you know, what was, what was really going on. So when you have a person that's a little, that's a little bit different, who's a feminine, uh, who's more, you know, feminine, they used to look at that like, oh, you got a demon, you got some type of demon on you. So, you know, that, I, that's what I thought. Like maybe that guy, uh, maybe he knew that he couldn't change. Uh, maybe he, he has sinned and maybe he did it before. Maybe he, you know, I don't know. And you know, the scriptures say there shouldn't be no sodomite. There's a, I mean, there's so much aggression towards homosexuals, yeah. even, even in the New Testament. You can't get away from it, even if you want to be a Christian or Seventh day Adventist yeah. or, or Jehovah's Witness. You can't get away from it. So that brother. His his dilemma was the Bible and condemned the Bible condemned homosexuality. So if he was a homosexuality, that was the issue. There is how the Bible came to a conclusion 
prematurely that anybody that's this type of way is because they're a demon or whatever. When now we understand that that's something that is actually that could that could be part of your genetics, where before you're even born, that's part of what's called sexual selection. You don't have a choice in that. Just like you don't have a choice in your in your uh, ethnicity, you don't have a choice in who you fall in love with type shit. You know, like I didn't choose to fall in love with my wife. That wasn't a choice. That happened naturally. So I know, yes, it's probably, it's a different gender, you know, but still that's the same concept that, you know, it's a natural thing. It's a natural feeling. You see it in nature. You see it with different animals. You see it with lions, with tigers that are, that are you know, in, in their own habitat that hasn't been touched. So, you know, that's something that, I mean, I don't hear people talk about that a lot but in the Hebrew Israelite community, but there has to be a bunch of homosexuals in the Hebrew Israelite community that are in the closet, that are probably raised, you know, as children in the cult that don't even want to be in there. You know, they didn't choose to be in there. But, um, you know, and then they just naturally... Well, I don't accept- know why. But, yeah. I, don't, I don't know why. I mean... I mean, think about it. <clears throat> they said that brother had, oh, you got, yeah, he did have a demon. He did have a demon in him. And I'm going to speak the language of the Hebrew Israelites. That brother, his, 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 he an Israelite in the context of his body, you know what I'm saying? Blood and all, all that. But his mind and the information, that was something from on the outside. That was some demon shit. So he, he didn't have no other out way of looking at it because yeah he probably was on some you know what I'm saying down low you know what I'm saying Batiman thing you know what I'm saying whatever like that but he's an Israelite he can't he couldn't live himself so that's so that's why that's where you know what I'm saying um where even no but even as know, an Israelite hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on that 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 that's that's where a person will have to understand that's where Ram might come in and understand that where it gets to that person needs to understand what the scripture is really talking about. Because if you're going to kill yourself, just leave. If you're going right. to you kill yourself, just leave. That's, that's why I know, you you know it's leave. deep. That's why I know, that's why I know, yeah. That's why I know you it's deeper than just, can't just leave. You he know, can't because, just leave. Yo, listen, he can't just leave. If he believes that, if he knows that he's gay, now he has to yeah. turn his back against the Bible because the Bible condemns him. He can't just keep on being an Israelite. An Israelite has to believe in the Bible. So that's what I'm saying is that. That's what I'm saying. That, 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 that's what I'm saying. His body is an Israelite. Like he is Israelite. But that's why I'm, that's why I said I'm speaking in the, in, the, in the context of how they would speak. He had an out. He was a demon, which he had. He had an outside concept of living and it wasn't allowed in there. So. Leave, just leave. Why you kill yourself? The reason why you kill him so because it's deeper than that. They probably told him some shit. They probably told him they probably got on him, bro. They probably for you to kill yourself, bro. And the only reason why I'm being hype because right now somebody's mourning the brother. I know y'all don't care because of y'all rank or whatever like that, but right now somebody's mourning. Somebody loved him beyond the 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 lens of if somebody sees you or if they remember what rank you had or if you got raised up. Nobody not think about that. If you think about the, the brother threw himself off of a, a balcony or a roof because of, of some make-believe. You could get mad if you want, but... But what do you mean by his body was an Israelite? That doesn't make any sense to me. He wasn't. And he thought that, he that, was. That, that, that's why I said... That, that's why I say it don't make sense to you. But when I think or speak in the context of how they speak, that's why I said I'm speaking in the context of how they would speak. He an Israelite, but he a demon. Cause he's he's on some homosexual stuff. So when I look at that, I say, yeah, he probably thought he's he was a, he, his body is an Israelite, his his blood, you know what I'm saying? He the oh, seed okay. of Abraham. But but he's a demon. He got some outside thoughts, outside thing that we don't allow in here. So if you if that's the case, leave. He couldn't leave because it's more than that. It's deeper than that. Yeah. He had he had it all. He had it off himself. When brothers off they self is different. It's, it's something different going on. Cause you could just leave. Right. You could just leave. Yeah. Just leave like I did or like you did. You know, it, yeah. it was it was definitely something deeper. Yeah. So yeah, when I when I watched when I watched the live and and you know the live that I did and I started really you know listening to what I was saying. And what the article was saying, I was like, man, I didn't even catch that. But it seems like he was definitely dealing with 
his sexuality is what it seemed like, you know, but I could be wrong. Like I said, I don't have the details on that, but like, you know, that's what I'm saying. This is all my opinion and my speculation. Um, but I think it's based on some good evidence. And, you know, I, the main one was where the father asked him, do you have a boyfriend? You know, when I was a teenager coming up, you know, when my father would ask me about my relationships, he never would ask me anything like that. You know, never would ask me anything like that. It was always, what was the race of the girl? You know, that was the question. It wasn't, you know, is it a man? Is it a boy? You know, it's like, that's not even a question. So if the father's question is sexuality, and then I'm catching also other things in the in the article that says that he started wearing more secular clothing, which doesn't necessarily mean that, you know, he was dressing like a homosexual, but, you know, he, he definitely wasn't dressing like with the BDUs and the, you know, all like that, and the fringes and all of that. But, um, and then it also said that he liked to dance. He was an artsy type of guy, you know? So just thinking about all of that together, I'm like, man, you know what? It could, <laughs> it could be that he was struggling with his sexuality, man. You know, so I don't know. Something was on that phone, probably. But I mean, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but you, you caught that all line. All right? all right, all right. What you say? Yeah, RIP to that guy, man. You but you caught that live, right? You caught that that the live that I did talking about that that dude. And then we spoke about that. And um, yeah, man, there were certain things that I pointed out, and then we you kind of like caught you caught that and we was like yeah man like i didn't even catch that when i was doing the live and, and when i first read the article because even when i did the live i think i read the article like real briefly you know and um i'm trying to understand the story you know and uh you know i mean we don't have all the information like that but definitely um you know it's definitely uh something deeper than just um, you know, I sinned or, you know, I don't believe in the doctrine. It had to be something where, you know, I'm possessed. He probably felt he was possessed by a demon, a homosexual demon or something. I don't know. I don't know. And you know what I'm saying? I didn't, didn't something had to do with counsel or something. You had to go to counsel or some shit. But, so that's what I'm saying. Brothers probably. Yeah, if he had a counsel, yeah. If he had a counsel, what do you, what type of count? You've had counsel before. What kind of environment, what kind of, you know, how do they talk to you in council, man? Especially somebody I'm come out. You, of I'm gonna tell, tell you right now. I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm gonna tell you right now how it works. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, RIP the brother. So if you don't like what I said, then whatever. They set you up. You know what I'm saying? I don't. I don't listen, bro. That was years ago, bro. So if anybody feel like, like that, because I'm bringing up this historical point, like I care about it. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. What? You know what I'm saying? What? Um. What? I remember. I remember one time. Um, I got kicked out because um, Alahain Bun, what's the name? Um, lied and said he didn't show up to the to the to the council. And then um, what's the name? Because Akim Adunia took his side, and the only proof they had to do because I remember that council. It was um, it was um, Raw Bun, Shaw, and uh, what's the name? Kakum, and it was Tizapa one. I think he was laying down, he was sleeping or sitting back over on the other side. And I was supposed to be there for something or whatever like that. And I was like, listen, I was there. I, I was there that night. The proof is you can see I signed the I signed for whoever didn't get a garment. I signed actually Matthew Makapash. And remember I remember Tazadaki busting the door. What is his brother so special for that that that, that we gotta go get a Matthew Makapash? Because the was to prove if I was here last Tuesday. And right. I said I was there. And, you know what I'm saying? And so when you see stuff like that, if you don't really have no strong hole in yourself or somewhere else, and that's all you have, and then brothers are setting you up. I remember um, Todd's Docky brother, I'm off the bar, told me, listen, brother, I'm going to tell you some real shit. Man. I didn't have brothers tell me shit behind the scenes, or I didn't hear shit behind the scenes where I was like, either this ain't the truth, or this is the way it's supposed to be where they're letting me know that this is how it really is, but to everybody else, this is what we're going to tell everybody else. God and her shit behind the scenes where it's like, why am I so special to know that that this is the way it really works? You know what I'm saying? And so you, so when you, when, when you see things like that, 
you know what I'm saying? You realize why a brother will kill himself because they, they, everything's hopeless. People set you up, you know what I'm saying? The brother, there, there's no, you know what I'm saying? There, there's there's no healing or no type of real he, like deliverance from any type of demonic force. You know what I'm saying? If that was if that was a thing, you know what I'm saying? It's about you, you damn faggot out, you, you will get cursed out. You know how it worked. You know what I'm saying? So the brother got the brother jumped off the damn. And bridge or whatever. I mean, bridge. <laughs> the bridge. My bad. Jumped off from um, whatever. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. I'm, yeah. The, I mean, the, that's the like, world turns. The, the world keeps spinning. That's like a like. I mean, even even outside of that cult, um, if you say you gay in the black community, man, like that's like a like man. You just ostracize yourself. You lost your black card. You know. At least that's how it used to be. You know, things are changing but now. What's here for? Because because what you here for, you know what I'm saying? Like when you grow up, the first thing you, you is like, you know, you, you recognize I mean, you know, we all you know, we all work. It's about a woman. So what you here for? If you 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 know what I'm saying? When I was growing up, you know what I'm saying? I remember I remember, you know what I'm saying, you used to, you used to make fun of niggas. You love man, you know what I'm saying? You love man, like you know if a faggot ass nigga acting gay, you love man. So that was you know what I'm saying, like niggas ain't trying to hear that in the black community, you know what I'm saying, or, or whatever. Back in the day, or however, because the focus was on, I guess, protecting what we understood as the divine feminine at that time. Now it's like, fuck it, we in the Cali Yuga age, it don't matter, you can be gay or prostitute, or whatever you want. You know what I'm saying? So that's why the brother, he could have just left, but like I said, he probably did have, you know, he really believed he was an Israelite. You know what I'm saying? Well, that's one thing I wanted to touch on too, because I got I was going back and forth um, with somebody about this topic and this person is a Bible believer. And um, so, you know, I'm trying to I'm trying to tell him that, OK, according to according. We're talking about this brother and I speculated to him. I was like, yo, you think that dude was gay? <clears throat> he was like, I don't know. You know, it could be. I don't know. And um, and I told him that even if you know, even if he was gay, um, you know, because you're born that way, how could he leave the Israelite cult and, and still, like, you know, maintain and manage? But, you know, um, a person that believes in the Bible already believes that God is not going to create somebody gay. So to believe that is to go against the Bible. So they're not going to believe that. They're going to have a biased uh, understanding. Everything is always going to fall on you know, what the Bible says. That's like their manual. But what science says is that during sexual selection, when you're uh, uh, developing in the womb, that this is what happens during that time. You're, you're not, it's not a choice, you know? So like, this is not something that like you choose to do this. You choose to, you know, you don't choose who you're attracted to. And I was trying to get that point across to him. And I'm like, this is what science shows. These are people that actually do research that are experts in the field of biology. This is biology too, which is a pillar in, in a, like science. Biology is not just and what somebody's opinion. But this brother, because he believes in the Bible, he's like, well, that's just their opinion. How do we know that this is true? But I'm like, yo, but you just want to go by what the Bible says. How do you know that that's true? At least these people do some studying and, and do some work and actually have evidence and data to work with. All you do, all they do is read a scripture and they think they understand some shit. It's like, I don't know, man. That 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 that's like the issue with how, why we came in the cult in the first place, is because we already came to a conclusion that the Bible is the truth. So anybody that comes at you with a scripture, you're gonna be amazed that like as if you know this person is sent from God. Or they have to, you got to be down with them and join up with them. And, or, you know, it's like there's there's truths outside of what the Bible says. Uh, there's a truth. Truth exists as a concept outside of what you personally believe. So a religion is somebody's personal belief. Science is not based on somebody's personal belief or opinion. Science is based on objectivity and, and data that everybody that we all can can uh, study if you have the knowledge, if you have the intellect to be a biologist, but a person that's not smart enough to be a biologist, they usually turn to religion and look for wisdom and feel special 
because they read some scripture. They think they understand, you know, uh, sexuality or something like that. But it's like, yo, there, there's people that study this stuff. If this brother was really a homosexual, there was nothing that he could have done if he was born that way, especially, you know, because like, like, you know, there are those off cases where people do get molested. Right. And they get turned out. But that's not the majority of the people that are gay. It doesn't happen. They were they weren't molested and then or, they grew up or, that way, born that way. Or 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 he could have done some research and lived by the scripture that says that all are one in Christ Jesus, neither male or female, and believe what he wants to believe about it. What you mean by that, Marksman? Because right. the Bible got different interpretation. You have an exoteric interpretation of the scriptures which could be many things and you have an esoteric which what it really might mean so if he was reading scriptures for himself he would have understood that neither is male or female in christ jesus which means the illumined mind so i could think for myself and i could believe what i want he didn't have take the opportunity to that the time we in right now to do what you want doing what you want for some people might have to do it something lasciviousness in the context of hypersexuality or some type of sex. Somebody else, it might mean money. Somebody else, it might mean cars. Somebody else, it might mean women. You know what I'm saying? Women and all that. You know what I'm saying? Or jewelry. So at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? The, the brother, the brother, um, it's, it's all about, it's all about what you was focused on. You, you were talking, man, because, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that that bro, Kim Lubrin, um, you know, like I said, I mean, if he was born, if he was, you know, if he was born that way, there would have been nothing that he could have done. There would have been, he, he probably felt there's no escaping this. I'm just attracted to the, to the same gender, you know? And I mean, you got to be up in the, in the, in the church, in the temple, you know, like you said, if they had a council with him, you know, they probably getting on him like, brother, you damn looking at some of the brothers, you know, on the Sabbath day a certain way. Like, yeah, you, 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 you like me, you, you like me, you, 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 bro, get this brother out of here, you, bro, yeah, they, at me, bro, all yeah. kind of shit, bro, yeah, all kind of shit on the brother. Yeah. My bad, That's God. what, what part, you saying? Like, the, the humiliation is like, even bigger yeah. on that that point because we already get you know humiliated and shamed and, and guilt tripped all the time in there. That's part of being in a cult. But damn, man, for for a person <laughs> that's a little effeminate, you know, yeah, man. I mean, that, that's something that's. I mean, uh, if, I mean, if that's what it was, if if that's what it was, but yeah, you know what I'm saying. The brother for the brother to say shalom like that, it, it's, it's deeper because you could just leave. You could just leave. But hey, I'm gonna say this, and I'm, we 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 don't gotta stay on top of the whole night. But I'm I remember remember I told you, bro, it's because of that picture, bro, that picture with him like this, that picture, bro. If that's who that is, like you said, it's that picture, bro. That you, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm, saying? I'm I'm telling. I know I'm, I know. Last time we was on the phone, it might have been funny, but I believe yeah. that that picture. You know, everybody know you for that, and you represented Israel that way, and all that, and, and yeah, Israel. You know what I'm saying? And then yeah. for the brother to damn turn, turn, you know, on some Chichi Man tip. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, they probably I mean, got on him, bro. I, I believe they got on him, bro. Sometimes they have to overcompensate because they know they're a little effeminate, so they try to overcompensate and seem more aggressive, to seem more masculine. But you know, it just come off yeah. more aggressive. But yeah, yeah, like that. I mean, I mean, but, yeah. yeah. I'll be that brother, man. But on um, like the Bible, man. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, brothers, you see, with, with with that whole venom like mentality, where you are what the next person is. You eat what you eat. You shit what the next person eats. You, you, you. Uh. <clears throat> When you have that mentality like you shit what the next person eat, or you fuck, or you, or you nut what the next person fuck, it's like, why do you care? Why do you care what the next person is doing? Because you have a concept and idea that he's me, I'm right. him, you know what I'm saying? They are me, we are us, 
we are all one person, you know what I'm saying? The body of this, that, third. You can say it's Christ, but it's really because Christ represents the human mind. It's really one is one mind inside. It could be Tazdaki's mind. It could be whoever high priest running that shit mind right now. But we're all one body. You know what I'm saying? So when you have a brother that's going off and shit, you know what I'm saying? He he, he got it, you know. Well, Tommy, you, uh, you just got it. I was gonna ask. Well, he there's like the concept of good and evil was which um, you know we were talking about that because. Uh, you would you were directing me to a dope book that talks about kind of explains that that concept of good and evil. Now, if that brother, you know, and I keep going back to that brother because that's just a good example. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, yeah. We, you know that that we just spoke about, and it's a good example to to kind of look at it. And it's like he thought he was doing evil. He thought he was evil, but it's like right. that concept of good and evil. It's like we all do good and evil. Jesus Christ Himself. Right. You know, so I mean, but you, you, we were talking about that, and I like what you were saying about that. If you could, yeah. Get it. Um, well, 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 um, the book you're talking about is on um, the the Lucifer Doctrine for Dummies, which is the on Lucifer on Lucifer and Doctrine for Dummies, yeah, right? The, yeah, the Lucifer Doctrine for Dummies, which is on the website right there below. Right. You know what I'm saying, and also is on is on Amazon and Kindle free. If the brother would have read that book around that time and he was real with himself if he would have read that book he would have said fuck it he said fuck it man yeah. he would have right. said fuck it man you know what i'm saying go on with your life and just say fuck it you know what i'm saying because at the end of the day i'm not them and they're not me and i am i am that i am it might sound blasphemy blasphemous to you but you see like i said life is funny where you have a group of people that act one way in, in front of a bunch of people than how they act in front of another bunch of people. So when you have this idea and concept that you have to push and you have an outsider on the outside, who's right, they or him? It's, it's going to be them, the majority. You know what I'm saying? So when you look at things that way and all that, the brother would have thought more of himself. When you're there from 15, from 15 to 30, bro, that's your, bro, that's... That's all you know. That's all you know is Yasha. Al. That's all you know. So then the question asks, what, what, what the hell's wrong with you? Why you went and did what you did? Whatever. The point is, just leave. You know what I'm saying? And, and the Lucifer Doctrine for Dummies, which is out, put out by um, ER, ERA Publications, um, you know what I'm saying, a company I work for, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Um, it explains that if you read that book, The Lucifer Doctrine for Dummies, which is booming right now, TikTok, Boom right now on Kindle. It explains the whole spell of the Bible. The whole Bible is one big spell. One big spell. You know what I'm saying? And like 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 with San Miguel, so the concept of good and evil. You know what I'm saying? Really, what's good or evil only depends on if 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 me or you, if me and you are in a room, like for example, me or you are in this in this, you know, stream yard. What constitute good and evil is depend on you, not me. You are the judge. You make the decision. This is your stream. This is your platform. You know what I'm saying? This is your this is your you know environment. So you constitute what good and evil. So if I was supposed to start wild and I'll do something, or you hear something off with the mic, that's evil to you. You you hear something on the mic. Oh shit! Um, somebody can't hear. Yo, Marshall, you got to fix your joint, man. What if I say, man, fuck it, they don't got a head. And what, 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 what am I doing on here? Then all kind of, then we go what? Then we go left. We're not right. We go left. So at the end of the day, good and evil is really just depend on how individual feels. An individual. There's nothing deep about it. That's why it's yeah. called the Lucifer Doctrine for dummies. <laughs> it really isn't that deep. You know, when I had this uh, Christian K-Dub on there, you know, that that's the main thing that they always like to try to attack Christians because the Bible kind of nicely lays out a nice little manual of oh this is good and this is bad you know but it's like life is not that black and white you know not everything that you're gonna go through is in a scripture form you know it's like and then just because it was good for somebody back then it doesn't mean it's gonna be good for you and then it, like you no. said this the scriptures that just could be interpreted differently, you know, to mean something bigger than what you think it, it means. Just because you're reading a certain story doesn't mean that everything in the story, every little detail, 
like how to he visualized like to focus on every little word and shit. And it's like that might not even matter like to the whole point of the story, you know. So I like that part. We gotta remember. Um, we we, yeah, we gotta remember. Yeah, we, we, yeah, my bad. We we gotta remember. Galatians four was twenty two said that which things are an allegory. The Bible right. is an allegorical book. The problem is the reason why they don't get it is because they don't they they don't see think outside of it to get what other message could the Bible be saying besides what this person says or what I've been taught to believe it means the whole time. No one wants right. to hear that the Bible was put together by Francis Bacon. Francis Bacon, who has long been suspected to be William Shakespeare, put, is historically, you know, he put the Bible together. In the 1611, you see his artwork, Francis Bacon's artwork is all over the 1611. Yeah. Uh, 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 you know, the Negro around. will tell you, you don't worry about that. What do you say? I would say he was definitely around during, uh, Francis Bacon was definitely around King James during that time, 1611. And before, when I, I believe they started uh, interpreting it in 1601 or something like that. So he was around. Yeah, yeah he was definitely around. Yes. You know what I'm saying, and and you gotta realize that man was a he was a genius in the context of like cipher systems. He he could put something in 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 a word, and you won't see it as a code. You know and that that's what that's what it was. When you think of um, uh, what's the name, Queen Elizabeth? You think of John D. When you think of King James, you think of Sir Francis Bacon. That was their their you know their warlocks, their magicians. That that that's who they went to for advice or for, to, to invoke certain things. Cause if you research who these people are and you know, I don't care fuck what a Negro said, look at the book, the new Atlantis written by Sir Francis Bacon, where he laid out the blueprint of America. All that shit was all this shit that Negroes in right now, all this shit's already blue. The blueprints already laid out. Like I give the example of a shoe. The reason why you could go to the store and you don't have to necessarily get your shoe figured out because Man and foot is already understood. There's nothing new to rec realize about foot. You know what I'm saying? So you don't. There's nothing new. You know what I'm saying? You go to the store. You don't think twice about where I'm gonna put my feet at. You know, they it's, it's already. So to think of the same way as the Bible or anything else. The blueprints already laid down, but the 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 the, the door and the mechanism of the lock and the key wasn't given to everybody. It was given to those people on the higher up. You know what I'm saying? I'm in bed, I'm, I'm, you know what I'm saying? So when so, so when you really look at the concept of um good and evil, good is God is just good with an extra O. The devil is just um um evil is just the devil with a D. And this D D is live backwards, um devil is live backwards, and um dog, God is dog backwards because God represents the divine and um dog represents the beast. And a person's not gonna really understand that. Because you too indoctrinated with what the slave master gave you. Slave master gave you the bullshit story. Then they say, well, how do you know it's true? Because we're living in an age right now where all that shit's being revealed. No, Nobody's hiding. Not hiding UFOs. Not hiding nothing no more. You know what I'm saying? You see, you see they're not hiding anything. So right. what else they're not going to hide? They're not going to hide, you know, certain origins of mankind. And I'm going to tell you, it doesn't, it, black, black, the black race does not begin with with um with a cabalistic with a cabalistic order because Israel is a cabalistic order. I don't care what anybody says, there's a difference between esoteric and exoteric. And if you research um the Hebrew Israelites and where they originated, it originated as a religion, not a nationality, a religion. It was Kabbalah, right. mystic, right. mystic Judaism, where the 12 tribes and all that shit meant something totally different for what people saying it is today or what what what's being told that there's a book called the Jewish the Jewish mask which came out uh the 1920s and all that which it totally tell you even these Jews they know that it's all Kabbalah you think it's about you know this and you know I'm, I'm an Israelite and, and all that they know it's about this but who who am I I'm just who am I you know what I'm saying that's what I think the average nigga watching this they worrying about what the next person think about them. Well, what rank you are, I or you've been here for so many years. Right. You made right. your bet, you lying it. You know what I'm saying? Other brothers like you, Sam Miguel, made a decision to think for themselves. 
he ain't jump off the roof. He left. He left, and he and you know he's standing here today, just like me, just like KOC, just like a lot of brothers, just like all um, need to be free. That's you know right. What I'm that's right. Need, 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 need to be free is a black man in America that need money. He's not trying to be um, hemmed up with you to, to look at your garment. Because I know that there's brothers inside it that didn't, like I'm going to say, everybody didn't join the school for the same reasons. Sam Miguel was probably one of the brothers that joined the school because of the, you know, the information and the knowledge and the, oh, I'm, a, I'm an Israelite from what tribe? Tribe of Simeon? Oh, shit. Other brothers joined to be like, you know, let me look at this brother. Let me let me see how this brother. I like how this brother sounds. The, the, bro, the brother got put out. The brother killed himself because of homosexuality. But you got a lot of psychosexual homosexuality going on in school. Mm. You don't necessarily got to fuck somebody and ask to be a faggot. You just acting faggoty, doing homosexual shit, doing whole shit. I respect a lot of homosexuals because you're not negative. You just do what you do over there. But if you want some faggot shit, if you in the street, you know a faggot don't necessarily got to mean that you fuck somebody and ass. You want some whole shit. You're doing some funny style shit. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, it's like, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, yeah, but like I said, check out the um Lucifer Doctrine for Dummies. Um, you know what I'm saying? Look at the, the website right here. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Right. Um, yeah, man. Um yeah. I was uh <clears throat> I was trying to see um <laughs> Cause uh, last time that we spoke, we were we were talking about. I mean, there was a few times that we we record. We have hours of of conversations between each other actually that was never put out. But there was a lot of good stuff in there, you know, a lot of good information um, that was just kind of scattered around. I was trying to get it all together eventually, but uh, then I was like, we just need to go live, you know, let's just go live and talk yeah. about it all. But uh, we got into a lot of different things. Um, we, you, I mean, um, Rebel Alliance Media was, uh, you were the ones that put out that video on, um, what was what was that, where Tazadaki was talking to the one brother in Baltimore. What's the brother's name? Yeah. Um, okay. Bon Lawyer. Bon Lawyer, right, right, right. So I remember that time, that video was like, crucial a uh, crucial piece of information for me because like yeah i'm in there i'm thinking i'm an israelite i'm thinking i'm learning all this knowledge and shit and then i hear tazadakia talking like this you know on that video on that audio and just it was just uh kind of like a wake-up call to me i still remember my, the feeling when i first heard that that audio I remember thinking like this guy is not who I think he is. This is he's a two he's double minded. He's two faced. I remember thinking that yeah. not the guy that I that I um normally know. This this guy is somebody else right now. And I, yeah. and I thought right there I was like, man, that's how, that's what he does. He fronts. He acts one way in front of us or when he's in the temple, but then he could switch at any time. And we saw that constantly. Like, did you see Tazadakia ever like change? Uh, like, did he get, ever get aggressive with you? Yeah, yeah. Tazadakia slammed me against the wall when I was supposed to watch his wife. Um, one, one. Um, I was on NIS, and then the order was I was supposed to watch his um the wife that he took from the Simeon brother. You know what I'm saying? I was supposed to watch his wife. She was sitting like the golden bars. If you know the temple, the golden bars that I was like right there. And I had to like watch her and I fell asleep. And all of a sudden I like I I I just I, I just got lifted up and Tazadaki slammed me against the wall. And he was like, What you doing that, bro? And I'm just there, I, yo, I'm half asleep. So I didn't know what was going on, man. And after that, I remember he was like, get out of here. So I'm walking down the steps, right? Everybody heard me and shit. And the looks that I was getting, bro, that, yo, bro, see, that's why I knew I always thought different because the look that I was getting made me think, these brothers think I'm about to get raised up or some shit, man. Like, the way the brothers was looking, like, that special lock. The Tazadaki slammed you up against the wall, brother? Damn, brother. And, and then when Tazadaki came back around, he was like, you know why that happened, right? And I was like, cunt. He was like, 
And that was it. And brothers was like, damn, I, oh. It was, it was, it was wow. some real wild shit. I remember Taz Daki, um, when I first came in, I remember one time I was going off for some shit. Taz Daki was like, am I lying? Doc? He stood in front of me. Am I lying? I was like, cunt, you lying. I remember that. Brothers, this brother, you know, he, certain brothers know, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, Taz Daki, he, 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 I remember, um, one time I was talking with Taz, I used to work for Taz Daki. I used to, um, so candies in the um in the video department in the, in the one west. I mean 1941. Uh yeah, I used to work. I used to I used to literally work for Taz Adaki, man. You know what I'm saying? And um sell candies and shit and, and right. all that shit. And, and, he, and he used to and he wasn't he wasn't the uh, um and there's other brothers that were that was more in depth with him and all, in depth with him and all that, but yeah. he I remember one time I think I was looking for a job and he was like just go in there and just just do it. He was he was really on some law of attraction shit. Like he, while everybody else was on some Israelite shit, he was on some black man in America using the law of attraction, getting money, doing whatever, duping, taking, yeah. doing whatever. While everybody else was, while everybody else was in the Sabbath, Sabbath class. You know what I'm saying? And and um and that's why before I made that video um in defense of Taz Adaki, because I realized a lot of brothers was in that in the school. I realized that certain brother wasn't in the school for the research or for the knowledge and the information. So if, if you're not there for that, what you there for? The, the little fuckery bullshit, the shit that you could have been in the street for, for real, for real. But you you wanted to because you feel you were Israelite, you want to bring it in here. You know what I'm saying? So when I seen that, you know what I mean. You you, you start to you start to you know think differently. You know what I'm saying? So Taz Daki, um, yeah, he always was he always was on some demon time tip, man. I remember Mafia Gabar put me to the side one time, told me when I was at NIS, you know, you can't trust anybody here, right? You can't trust anybody in here. You know what I'm saying? Like, I remember a lot of I remember a lot of things, you know what I mean? So Yeah, Mafia Gabar is yeah. Taz brother, right? Yeah. Like he was I don't got no with the brothers. Shout out to the brothers. Shout out to them brothers, man. I mean, you know, <clears throat> RP yeah. Taz Daki, but shout out all of me on Mafia Gabar, all them brothers. Cause I don't got no I this man. KOC said this years ago. We never had no problem with no brothers on a personal level. It was because right. we were on some young tip and we was on some like we were Israelites too. We believe we were Israelites at one point in time, but like when you and what makes me, you know what makes me think because I understand how dark shit be. They probably would have wanted us to kill ourselves too. They don't want people to wake up and realize they could do their own thing or break out of somebody's mental construct or what they believe. You know what I'm saying? They want you to still have that same adherence, even though it's bullshit, even though it's, it's, some, it's, it's some shit you can't really stand on in the real world. They don't care because they because you don't know that the brother got some money on his side or he's getting some of the Tav's money. You don't know. You know what I'm saying? Right. There's America at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? So you don't know what's going on. So like I said, for that brother to kill himself, you know what I'm saying? It had to be something more like get out of here I, forever and forever, yo. Forever. Yeah, it must have really hurt your feelings or whatever. I don't even know, man. Yeah. That story. But yeah, Ty Dyke Ty was no joke. Yeah. What you said? Oh, I, I said I said Ty's Doc was no joke, man. He was he was he was a, he was about money. Yeah, I heard that a lot. That he was always like a business minded person. Yeah, that was out in the street. That that knew how to hustle. He knew how to, you know, sell the oils. He was on the oil tables, I believe. Um, right. Because there was a there's a dude that's that's part of another Israelite uh, camp or something that um, he talks. He know he knew Tazadake like personally, and I forget this cat's name. And I have put him. In one of my um, observing Tazadaki or observing Jermaine videos that I did, um, and he has a lot of like personal stories. Like in the early '90s, he was always alongside Tazadaki, and he would say like, you know, they was always out there hustling, making sure they got their money for the oil tables. And um, I think I remember um, what's the one dude that used to come on your joint, Direct Connect. He used to always yeah. try to. He used to always try to defend Tazadaki and be like, you know, he was a he was a smart person. He was business minded. He was always out, you know, always ready to uplift and have and uh, 
and bring the nation of Israel to a different economic level and all that. Like that's what they always the tribute back it to. Like, like, oh, he he's here to take the church on another level financially, spiritually, and all of that. You know, but um that's when that that, that that's when you live by the concept of someone coming, you know, or this person's coming. And, mm -hmm. and they hear shit gonna change. It's not you. You're not gonna be the one to do it. It's, it's this person. You know what I'm saying? So, and you know, the proof's in the pudding. You know what I'm saying? Brothers came out. Shout out Isaria. Shout out um, what's the name? Zahab and them brothers. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, what's the name? Uh, a bad one. A bad one. That's people I used to rock with in the school. A bad one. All them NIS brothers, man. You know what I'm saying? Yashima Palau. You know what I'm saying? All them good brothers. But them brothers wasn't, them, them brothers wasn't, um, they, a lot of brothers, they just, they just be following orders, man. Just following orders. You know what I'm saying? What, what, I mean, honestly, what you going to do if you're not in the world and you, and you have a, a another world view, which is from the Bible, what else are you going to do? You went to school, you know what I'm saying? So. <clears throat> what was one of your first like issues with the Bible that you realized Man, this is a contradiction, and, and um, you know, um, not only with the Bible, but maybe also with the Hebrew Israelite doctrine, like that. You realize there's something, there's an issue here. Was you already in the call, or like how did what, what did you start noticing? You started noticing. I right, I'm gonna tell you what it was. I was gung ho in the school, right? Gung ho, even after I got kicked out. Or I think I got suspended and I was making a video supporting Tazaki and he wanted me to go on the world tour with him. Brothers know that was there was there. You know what I'm saying? I remember when first when um when Tazadaki was first becoming like the Holy Spirit, they wasn't really saying he was the Holy Spirit yet, but he was like bringing the breakdowns out. This is I think this is before the breakdowns DVD came out, or was it after? I don't know. But this is when um he was first bringing out that it's not Yahweh Shai. You know, Jesus is Yahweh and um um God is Abinawa. You know what I'm saying? So the first time I started to realize something was off was when um I asked a question in class and um I remember um Kakum was up there, Kakum, this is in one west now. And I asked a question in class where I said, um, how can you know the I think I, what, what was the question? I said, um, I said, uh Judah, what I said, I say Moses is from the tribe of Levi, and that means Moses was born after, way after Levi. Moses is, um, Levi is Judah's brother. If God told Moses that his name is Yahweh, where did Judah get Yahweh from back then to make Judah's name Yahweh, which has got the name, the most high name in it? Yahweh, the that the, the Bible says that it, the the God of Abraham, I, I'm sorry, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, they wasn't known by that name. They wasn't known by the name. It says in the Bible they weren't. It wasn't known by that name, Yahweh. It was another yeah. name, El Shaddai, or some other shit. So yeah. if so, if Judah, how come? How does Judah mean Yahweh? If Moses didn't get the name Yahweh until way after. You know, you know, because Moses cool. from the tribe Levi. So, so when I, so when I ask that question now, when I ask that question now, all kind of rumblings, all kind of like, oh shit, oh, oh, oh. Mm. you know what I'm saying, brothers? That I was cool with was like, oh shit, covering their head and shit. They didn't answer the question. Kakum was up there. Kakum was up there, and they was like, oh, we gonna get back to you, Art. And I remember after the class, Kakum Bun asked me. He said, "Who told you to ask? Who told you to ask that question?" And I said. <laughs> I said nobody didn't tell me to ask that question. I I I just thought of it myself. Cause wow. you're not supposed to be fucking. You're not supposed to be paying attention in class. You're supposed to be a dope dodo head just sitting there giving Wait. your tives, cut cut, and all that and shit. And that's it. You ain't supposed to be thinking. You know what they I'm saying? Asked, you're supposed to be just sitting you, there. They asked you if somebody told you to ask that question. Yeah, it could come. I remember we, we I walked out of um. One West, you know, he had like the room one. And I remember when I asked the question, brothers was like, ooh, you know, you heard rumbling. Yeah, 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 ooh, shit, ooh, 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 ooh. Because it's true, like, how did 
Because the only reason why I asked that question because Taz Daki used a scripture that said that we that um that name your forefathers didn't know me as by that name. Yeah. So I said, well, well, if you did, if you if how does Judah means Yahweh praise? How does well, Judah what, mean Yahweh? That's, praise? that's one of the first scriptures that actually when I was deprogramming from the Bible, really, and and from the cult altogether, it would kind of it kind of all came together. Me leaving the cult eventually left to me just deprogramming from the whole Bible because mm -hmm. just doing more research led to that, you know. Just doing more research about religion and the doctrine, it just led to me questioning. Well, how do I know that the Bible is even true? Why should that? Why should I believe this anyways? You know, because that was the issue in the beginning. I was raised to believe in the Bible. I didn't question it. So when somebody came to me with a doctrine within the Bible, I didn't even think to question the Bible. So I just accepted the doctrine. So when they come at you and they show you things, you know, like, oh, Adam and Eve, you know, there was more people. It was couldn't have been just Adam and Eve. Where did uh, Seth get his wife from? You know, all that stuff like that. It, it made me think like these people know something that they didn't really teach us in the Catholic Church. But then when I when I read that scripture that I think is Exodus chapter three, verse 15 or something like that, where uh, Moses said, well, what should I what should I uh, say when the children of Israel asked who sent me? He says, say, I am that I am. I sent you. And then I think Whoa. that's that's where he says, uh, your fathers didn't know me by this name. I never revealed right. that they, right. knew, they knew me as El Shaddai or Baal. I think I right. think Baal yeah. comes up in Hebrew. And uh, which yeah. means Lord, which means, that means Lord. Lord, yeah, yeah. And so, Molech and Molech means king, Malak Malak. So, Molech means king. Exactly. So, like you were saying before, that the Israelites they weren't a race. They were. It started as a religion. It's it's what it's what's called an yeah. ethno. It's what's called an ethno religion. And, and, and um, what was the ethno religion? And what was the ethno religion? Kabbalah. I'm, I you don't I, 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 um how you say that. The the message does not reflect San Miguel TV. You know what I'm saying? So um the um parental advisory select um you know suggested, you know what I'm saying? Right. But it's Kabbalah, that Jewish mysticism, that witchcraft, that deep quillifoff witchcraft shit, you know what I'm yeah. saying? That that niggas not that niggas not ready for, you know what I'm saying? I mean niggas they could be ready for it, but then you would have to be on some real demon time tip. You know what I'm saying? Well, there's but, a lot of a lot of celebrities that's really into that like i remember researching how madonna's into that cabalism stuff like a lot of celebrities get into that you know it's kind of weird you know see, that's Kabbalah, see, it's, it's not, see all that stuff sounds weird with the words and shit but, yeah, yeah. no but it's historic it's, yeah. no yeah i mean like i said if a person i mean cer mm -hmm. there's certain methods that a person has to take to believe in themselves amidst certain environments so you have a science of a certain particular type of people that might have to do certain things to survive adverse to somebody else or another group of people that might not have to do it that's what kabbalah is about the quilla that that's that that's going to be in um era publications actually going to put that out in um the lucifer doctrine for dummies part two and i'm not going to reveal that title yet but i'm going to say right. part two you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people don't realize that the black Hebrew Israelite religion is Jewish mysticism, Kabbalah. You know, and black people was given the the you know the little stories and all that. And yeah, that that's yeah, yeah. I'm gonna let you believe that that's what it's talking about, that it's talking about you. I'm gonna believe that it's talking about me in the context of my mentality. You could believe it's talking about you in the context of where you from. Because of course we 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 took your we took your um you know your African ancestry from you. Brothers don't want to admit that, but a lot of people they come from Africa, bro. Black people come from Africa, bro. You know what I'm saying? We don't want to admit it, but we all descend from Africans. The reason why we have these different phenotypes and shit is because of you know uh um you know slavery and all kind of other shit. So you might have a person that say, oh. This brother's a Hamite, but then this brother's an Israelite. But you got right. some brothers in the school that could pass for Hamites. You got some yeah. brothers in the school that could pass for Edom, Edom, Edomites. You got brothers in the school that could pass for a Moabite. You know what I'm saying? So, like, so, you're saying just 
because that's a good point. Because of slavery, some people that would be considered a Judite or African Americans, they're not a hundred percent African. They're not like they they're mixed in a little bit too. How they like to say Ephraim is a cake not turned or whatever. Well, African Americans are also that way. Um, you know, like you said, they would they would say that like, oh, you see how how um they'll be like they'll point out somebody like Allen Iverson and they'll be like, look, Allen Iverson don't look like Matumbo, you know that type of shit. <laughs> I've heard somebody in the church yeah. say that. It'd be like Matumbo's a hand mic, right? That's that, these are basketball players. I don't know. This is how I you know this made sense to me, so I know. Uh, hey, and, and, hey, listen, okay, hey, listen. Allen hey, listen. Iverson might have some Native American or some Caucasian. DNA or something that the, the Kimmy Matumbo doesn't have. So, but yeah. Right. <laughs> um, damn, what I was gonna say, I was gonna say something. Man. Damn, it just, it just hit me, I forgot. Um, A lot of these people, the Black Hebrew Israelite community, their uh, analyzation or the, the, the sifter that, that, the sifter that they gotta, that they distinguish between what's the Israelite and a Hamite is based on aesthetics. Their concept of beauty, or their concept, if you look, look up aesthetics and what and what they deem to be beautiful or symmetric or or what they're attracted to naturally at first glance, you know, when, when you when you take a double take, when you didn't have no control, you're just attracted to it. And you know, over a certain period of time when you had African Americans and West Indians and shit and um Haitians. Not not necessarily looking like their African, you know, origin because of all the mixing and the languages and the environments and all that. Then you have the tribes or whatever, so-called tribes and this band third. You know, people get used to. And at the end of the day, I'm gonna tell you right now, bro. A lot of people with the a lot of people is not really attracted to African women. They like that brown skin, that light skin. They like that, you know, they like that a certain type of dark skin and you know what I'm saying? So that's what it's really about. It's really about sexual attraction to what type of woman and what type of person, what type of child you want to have based on what type of woman you with is aesthetics. It has nothing to do with Israelites, um, Hamites, or none of that stuff. You can believe if you want to, but you know what I'm saying? That's the new word today, aesthetics. Understanding your concept of beauty. Why can't Motumbo be a Hebrew Israelite? Because, because he's not, because he doesn't have that much, he doesn't have that little drop of Caucasian to straighten out his nose or do certain things to or to, to tint his skin a little bit light so he not too dark like a Hamite, but he not looking like an Edomite, so, you know, he's one of us. He's like, you know, it's, it's some bullshit, man. It's, it's, it's they, they, used man. Always, they used to always say that about Africans, though. They would be like, oh, they, they're like, uh, like their skin is not like an Israelite skin. You know, and, and they'll be like, oh, it has a different glow or something to it. And I'll be like, wait, what we saying that darker skin is there's something bad with that? I remember thinking that. What are they trying to say? There's some in between. <laughs> I remember thinking that. Man, Taz, 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 Taz Darky could be a damn hamite. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Taz, Taz Darky could be a hamite. You know what I'm saying? And, and a lot of brothers in there could pass for hamites, edomites. You know what I'm saying? All kinds of shit. So what 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 does an Israelite look like? You know what I'm saying? Their ideal Israelite might not necessarily have too much, too much Hamite properties, but not necessary. But trust me, the Judite is is literally an Edomite with melanin. African Americans are are white people with melanin. You know what I'm saying? And this does not reflect the um this the the, the channel of San Miguel TV, you know what I'm saying? Well, um, well, uh, well, the, well, I would say it the other way around. Caucasians are Africans without melanin. <laughs> you know, I mean, I mean, you, you know, you 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 actually right, you actually right, you actually yeah. right. But I'm talking about the context of mentality. You might have a lot of black people out here, but they they the white man in their brain. They 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 the Edomite in their brain. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? So you have people that you know how you have how you think you got the Uncle Tom and um. The, the 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 slave the slave catchers and all that because they they adopted the Edomite brain but they got the the body of um and that's what Kabbalah is about if they really understood what Kabbalah was about and how deviant these rabbis are and these Jewish people you know with and and how they usurp authority over 
you know, the world and shit through imagery. Yeah. Because you know that the Jewish people created Hollywood. And that's the reason why Hitler, you know, was trying to run the Jews out of Berlin and all that, because they were creating a whole new culture of directing the mentality towards something else besides yourself. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, so, so that, 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 you know what I'm saying? That's what it was really about. You know what I'm saying? So Jewish people, if you look up this book called The Jewish Mask, M-A-S-Q-U-E. If I would have read that book, bro, I would have never had been a Hebrew Israelite, bro. I'll tell you right now, bro. You know what I'm saying? I gotta check that out, definitely. But um, yeah, but yeah, yeah we uh we we uh hour and thirty five minutes in. I usually like to go yeah. two hours, so we're gonna start just winding it down. We yeah, have yeah, yeah, yeah. We have some people on here. Um, you know, I mean, I don't see no questions on there, but. I mean, if there's anything else, man, that you wanted to just get out, you know, uh, before we wind it down, we're gonna we're gonna start closing um, it out. Um, I mean, there ain't no questions or nothing. So, no. I mean, I mean, yo, shout out, shout out, Andre Crystals, Helios, KOC, shout out, um, the Devil's Advocate. You know what I'm saying? Shout out, um, you know what I'm saying? San Miguel TV. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, shout out, uh, what's his name? Brothers from the Injustice League, Yashma Palau, uh, Izaria, uh, Abadwan, you know what I'm saying? Um, a lot of brothers, man, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and um, I remember you had Izaria and um, what was the other uh, West Indian brother uh, you had? Aparium, Aparium, Aparium. I really, I really enjoyed watching the, the videos during that time because. This was like me first really, really deprogramming from the cult back in like 2015. And you were doing, you had Rakal Ward, you had Parium, you had Azari Nathan, and they were really going into a lot of good history, like real history with the ICTJC. Yeah, man, it blew my mind. It blew my mind to find out when he said that um they brought up the, the Mormon Bible in the council. And they was like, you know, we're going to go by what's in here. And that's what and you see. That's what that's what happens behind the scenes. You know, you don't know that they're reading the Mormon Bible. You think yeah. that it's all about the, the, the King James. You know what I'm saying? Word, word. So when, yeah, you, see, when you think it's about one thing, it's about something else. Yeah, so, that, so they got they got some of them ranks like that chief priest, chief high priest um, title, the forty two, all of that. That's all. That's all within the structure of the uh, Latter Day Saints Mormon cult. Mm -hmm. They have, they yeah. have the, you know, they have the forty two and all of that, and then they got the twelve yeah. uh, in the cult because that's what they do. They got the forty two, then they got the twelve apostles, right? Um, and then they got a bunch of chief priests and all. It's the same setup almost, like it's almost mm -hmm. exactly the same. And uh, but yeah, it's it's real interesting to, to hear that. Yeah, yeah. No, nothing's wrong with feeling good about yourself. You know what I'm saying? But a lot yeah. of brothers, you know, when you had to leave that rank, you know what I'm saying, realize that that was just. I remember one day Tazadaki was on um, going around giving raising brothers up for nothing. It wasn't even it wasn't even a council day. I don't know if he was in a good mood or some shit. Yeah, and he was just raising brothers up on. I think that was after kind of like after KOC graduated, and I remember. Yeah. He was just walking around raising people up, and after yeah, that, my that. brother came around. What happened? I remember, I remember that. I was around for that. Yeah, yeah. And after I remember, my brother came around. He's like, "Yo, I just got raised up to for the five thousand. I was like, "Word." He's like, "Yeah, Todd's Doc raised brothers up." Then Todd's Doc turned the corner and shit, and I was like, "Oh shit, I'm about to get raised up." And Todd Doc looked at me, and I was just, he just walked or walked off. And I was <laughs> like, "I." <laughs> I was like, I bet. You know what I'm saying? Cause I, and I, you know, let me say something. Taz Daki used to, he used to fuck with people a lot with that rank shit. Like he used to be like, I remember on yeah. one time on the Hanukkah, on the Hanukkah, there was nobody to hold down security for council. The come was there, brothers there. I was the only brother there doing security, and everybody was playing basketball. And then Taz Daki came back, and he was like, "Who's at the school?" Oh, Shana Rod at the school. But, but, yeah, I'm going to raise that brother to a general. I like, keep playing around. I'm going to raise him to a general. He used to always tease brothers and be like, you want me? And I remember this happened at 1 West and 1941. 1941, he used to be like, I know this brother don't be joking around. 
I'm gonna raise a little general. Watch, I'm gonna. He, he used to always tease brothers with that shit. So that rank yeah. shit is, is is bogus, man. Yeah, that's man, something. You could, could drop a rank. You know what I mean? That's a control mechanism right there. That rank, it's a way to control people. Yeah. I noticed that later on. I'm like, man, there was so many ways that we were controlled. Not only with the scriptures, not only with fear. It was that rank, the fear of getting put out, the fear of losing your rank, the shame of having other people know that you losing your rank or that you sinned or that you did something wrong. Because you get you get put out, you know, you get blasted in front of everybody. That public humiliation is like really effective. But I mean, yeah, I mean, on top of uh, listening to to you guys, uh, you know, Rebel Alliance, everything that you guys did, I mean. There's like there were a lot of ripple effects that happened that you might not even know, bro. But there was a lot of things that one thing led to another that you, you might have you you probably responsible for a lot of people waking up like something that they heard 10 years ago, you know, on your channel could have maybe hit them later on, you know, or, or it just stands out for those entire 10 years. Like it was things like that, that I, I remember watching your videos. And I would literally be, sit, be sitting up in class and certain things that I would hear y'all talking about would come up, you know, in my head. Like, I, I would want to ask questions about, you know, did, did uh, Saul see, did he see the light or did he hear, you know, whatever, the voice first. I remember y'all were going into that one, too. And it was like, all of that was bad, controversial. And it's like, you know what scriptures to stay away from in there. Because when you ask right. certain scriptures, if you ask certain questions, you know, people start looking at you all crazy and shit. So I could imagine, like you were saying, when you asked that one, that's a good one, though. Why was it called, how, how you had that the tribe of Judah, which is the Lord's praised, right, Yahawadah. But then right. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob supposedly did not have the name Yahweh. That's, right. that's a great one right there. That's awesome. And if you, if you, want, to, and if you want to know what, uh, what Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob really means, go to this website. Or look up the Lucifer Doctrine for Dummies on Kindle and read it for free. And tell me that um the author of the book, you know what I'm saying, just shout to him that it's not what it's talking about. You know what I'm saying? If you really look it up, you know what I'm saying, you understand that the Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is talking about something totally different from what they were teaching in these school, in these churches. Yeah. You know or yeah, I appreciate that, man. Yeah, I mean. <clears throat> you know, so I want to give you your flowers, and you know, like how they say, because you, you definitely did a hey, lot of. You too, man. Hey, 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 check it out, man. Hey, check it out, man. You too, man. Sa um, you know, what I'm saying San Miguel TV. You know, what I'm saying did it by himself. You know, what I'm saying came out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. You know, what I'm saying brothers, brothers. You know, what I'm saying it, it was me. It was me and KOC in the beginning and shit. You know, what I'm saying. You know, what I'm saying, and then San Miguel. You know what I'm saying? Brothers was, they it genuinely just wanted to, you know what I'm saying? Cause like I saw the pictures with you brothers and stuff like that, that those were, those were your brothers. You was really with yeah. the cause, with with, 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 with the movement, you know what I'm saying? And, um, and, you know, shout out, um, San Miguel TV, shout out, uh, you know what I'm saying? Justice League, you know what I'm saying? Brothers that, um, oh, what's, what's the name? Bless, bless, bless Israel, bless thou In Israel, some shit like that. Free Israel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Free Thou Israel with uh Zach McDonough, Shark, Zach McDonough, Arm Brothers. At the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? We all we all here just fighting. We, it's, it's, you know what I'm saying? Fighting against the, you know, the system. Now we in COVID. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm, you know what I'm saying? It's, yeah. It's, it's crazy. Shit, shit different now. Yeah, it's very different now. Also, within the ICGJC, they can't congregate. So, you know, they, they probably got to do like Zooms, things like that. Um, to try to stay so like I wonder how how much more control I wonder I mean I wonder how much control they still have you know and, and how much influence you know the Bible but, bro yeah the that's Bible. why people need to read the book read the book for themselves and I don't want to give too much in the book but it breaks down fear it breaks down fear and what fear really is and that's what these people do is about fear that a lot of black people uses because you have the boule movement, you have the boule, you know what I'm saying? So you got a lot of black people uses what white people did to 
black people to to move to, to you know survive. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta sell that story. We oppressed, we went through this. You you're not one of the white people, right? Oh nah. So you fight for us. And while you fight for us, give me give us your checks, give us your money and shit. You know what I'm saying? So a whole bunch of manipulation and shit going on, yeah. I remember there was a YouTube user named God's Boule around the time where you you guys were doing your videos. Remember that that user? Yeah, I think they yeah, God they, used to address you guys a lot. I think. Yeah, yeah, I never knew who that brother was. I remember, I remember they used to accuse us of being God's Boule, but we I never to this day I don't know who he was. But shout him, shout out to him. Yeah, yeah, I don't. I mean, I remember all these channels, man. I remember Abu back in the days. You know, I remember a uh, truth. Yeah, yeah. yeah, there was there was like a lot of these uh, little YouTube channels popping up after you guys started exposing, uh, you know, but like you said, you had your I don't give a damn show. I remember I remember watching you and 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 the brother saying, oh, this guy's wicked. You know, everybody's like, oh, this guy's wicked as hell. Look at him. He's off. You know, he's going to die. We were saying all types of crazy shit. Um, and we, then we all gonna die. We, we, we all gonna die, man. Yeah, but once you know KOC, say, like, <laughs> once KOC had left, though, that's when it was like they got scared. You could tell, like, they was like, okay, we got to do something about this because we can't have people speaking against Tazadakia. You know that information control started coming in a lot more, and they they cut that off. They was like, okay, man, you get reported if you watch the Rebel Alliance media videos. And then I remember there was a brother in Orlando, Need to Be Free, who I had on, uh, my brother Alex. He, he, I started watching the videos on your channel on the low, even though I knew I could have been put out because he was, yeah. you was putting him on there and I knew him personally. And I, and a lot of things he was saying was like really hitting me, man. It was like, I, till this day, I was like, damn. When I got when I had him on my live, I was like, "Wow, you don't even realize that this guy had an effect on you know like those videos had an effect." Even though I'm like, I wanted to be here. I'm an Israelite and I'm a believer. That's how you know yeah. what we our belief was all based on bullshit, man. Because it could yeah, just yeah. so easily be shaken. Because I mean, all we had was just you know this is just what we believe. This is the Bible, but that's how you know it's it's like. It's, it wasn't validated, man. Nothing that, like, I started really thinking, and I'm like, what? Why? what's a good reason? Like, yeah, you know, the Federation of Logic and Reason, I, I started really, I needed a good reason to believe in this. So I was like, I got to go back. I got to go back to the Bible, to the doctrine, and re reinterpret it and, and retranslate it and see if it makes sense, if it adds up to what the ICGJC is saying. And there was a lot of things, like the, some of the stuff that we mentioned, some of the issues that you had, that I had those same issues. I mean, anybody with a right with the right mind can see there's a contradiction here. If this says one thing here, you know, love your enemies, and then it says bring your enemies before me so I can slay them. Those are two different characters, man. Yeah. Yeah. We know that we know that Jesus Christ yeah. is not a schizophrenic. You would think that that's a schizophrenic person. That's in one chapter he's saying, uh, you gotta love your enemies. You gotta pray for your enemies. And then the next one says, oh, right. well, those mine enemies that will not that I reign over them, bring them hither and slay them bring before them me. Out. Like, look, you see that you see the the polarity there. You right. You see the, the, the two sides there. It's not it's not as I'm saying, like you say with the symbolism in the Bible, it's like I can see that, man. It's not that simple to just read like it's a comic book or something where it's just a story yeah. being told. Like, there's a lot of things in there that. If you don't really understand it, uh, you get tripped up, man. And what usually happens is that I see that people like to ignore one scripture or one part of the Bible and make a bigger emphasis on like other parts of the Bible and doctrines. And like they'll shine a light and, and, and you know, emphasize, oh, I, I'm a I'm a believer in Christ, but I believe in the Trinity or I believe in a res in a. I don't believe in the resurrection or I don't believe in reincarnation. Like there's so many different ways that you can go. And it's all like, how do we even know that, you know, this is how you know that there is no one set doctrine because people go in the Bible and come out with a million different things, bro. So I but like to say this. But, but, yeah. yeah, but I'm going to say this. There is, yeah. there is, there is a main, 
there is many different interpretations, but like I said, this doesn't reflect Sammy Go TV. There is a main, a main message. And if you want to know what that main message is talking about, go on the website or go look up on Kindle, Loose for Doctrine for Dummies. At the end of the day, this is still America. It's Francis Bacon still put the Bible together. And I know, I know researching the shit and looking things up. What's the point? Well, you know, what's the point of even watching it? What's the point of being in it? What's the point of doing all that? It's right. to learn and to, to evolve and to and to um and to grow and to just know that you know you was wrong. You were wrong, you know what I'm saying? I mean, look, it's 2021. You know, on Sam Miguel TV. You know what I'm saying? Just realize that you're wrong and just and, and just face the facts that you know, if you really want to know what the Bible and the, and the spell that was put on us, read the book Lucifer Doctrine for Dummies. And it has nothing to do with me. I'm just a promoter of the publication. It has nothing to do with the author. It's just the information. It's just it's just the information. You know what I'm saying? And I bet you, if you read that book, you're either gonna not tell somebody you wrote it. I mean, you read it, or you're gonna um uh you know just pretend you ain't never read it. But you're not gonna read it and still believe in the Bible after that. The same way. <clears throat> Right, right. Just, just, just like how you can't watch San Miguel TV and still believe in the Bible the same way after that. Yeah, there's a lot of people that tell me they're like, man, I just I, I'll leave it. They they don't want to not believe. They don't want to say that they don't believe in the Bible. They'll say, well, I just don't understand that part yet or something. So they can maintain their belief. I hear that a lot. They'll say, well, I just that's just something I don't understand, I guess. And God will give me that understanding later. But it's like. Now, you know, <laughs> how do you know that you're going to get that understanding at all? You know, but now, nah, yeah. I mean, you know, this, I appreciate you coming on here, man. I mean, I definitely want to get yeah, you man. back. You know, I'll definitely get you back on in the future. Um, maybe I get you and KOC on at the same time. That'd be cool. Yeah. There's something on somebody on here asking uh, uh, for KOC. But yeah, I had him on. I already had him um, one time. Years ago, we we had a really good video, um, and, and he put shout out, out you know, shout, out, shout out KOC man, shout out Andre Chris. Like I said, shout out Andre right. Crystal. He was supposed to been do mad shit, but like, yeah, you know what I realized on Ram Channel, like the Rebel Nights Media Channel was not a channel to to build, and like you know the response to even the response the book is getting in comparison to the channel and the ads being on the channel, you know the channel. You gotta realize brothers start hating and stuff, and then you know it doesn't get the same response, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, you just you know, people don't really um, you know, um respect what Rebel Life's media was about, but eventually they will once you have to start believing in yourself adverse to what somebody else wants to believe for you. Then you say, Oh, that's what they were niggas was talking about the whole time. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Definitely, yeah, definitely. I agree with that. Yeah, um, like I was saying, you know, there's things that you could hear uh, at one point in your life that you don't realize that it has a bigger effect on you. It has like a subliminal effect on you that uh, you might not get it right away. But I think one of the first things I did when I, when I understood that what you guys were really trying to do, uh, you and KLC, one of the first things I did was was go on your videos I got the phone number that was under the, the one of the videos. I called up. I think I got KOC on the line. And he was asking, you know, what's your name? Who are you? <laughs> I was just like, you know, I'm a, I'm a former member that, you know, I watched the videos and I just wanted to say thank you. And uh, that was like one of the first things I did right there. Right before I started making my videos, maybe like yeah. a year before or something like that. I was like, you know, I just want to say thank you for uh, what y'all did and I appreciate it and all of that. So I want to say that to you live, you know, thank you for what you did, bro, because uh, you played a major part in my escape and I'm sure you played a major part in a lot of people's escape and deprogramming from that place that, you know, some not everybody survives, you know, so that's, that's a dope thing, bro, that we could talk about that now. I'm glad that you're here, bro. Thank you. Salute to you, bro. Yeah, man. Thank, thank, thank you too, man. Salute to you too, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it was just, just waking up, man. You know what I'm saying? We all we all here in America and shit. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. 
definitely. So I'll get up with you soon, man. I'm going to end the broadcast yeah, for everybody. Man. Yeah. Anything else? One last thing you want to say? Oh, no, 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 no. It's done. We'll close, close this out, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure, for sure. But we'll stay on here. I want to I want to talk to you and everybody else. Go check out that book that we was talking about, Luciferian Doctrine for Dummies, on www.erapublications.org. Um, you know, you might be interested in some of the things you find on there. Go on I know Kindle. that. I'm check it out. Yeah, on Kindle, on yeah, Amazon. Check it out on Kindle. Um, buy the paperback. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and right. be be blown away. Right. Okay. So, so you can get the paperback on Kindle. Is it on audio? It's not an audio, right? No, nah, it's 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 a paperback and an ebook. An ebook, right? Got you. Okay, got you. All right, brother. So we're gonna close it out. This has been another broadcast of San Miguel TV. Shabbat shalom, everybody. Peace. Shabbat shalom. Yabashim shabbat. Yabashim shabbat, bro.